the dancers, it was an even bigger shock than for friends or for the film crew and me, because some of them had been working with Pina for 30 years, and Pina was the center of their life. There was this big hole in their lives. And one of the reasons we made the film, because I really had cancelled it after Penis Death. I didn't want to do it anymore. But one of the reasons we went back to it was that I realized it was important for the living for us to make, because none of us had been able to say goodbye to Penis, especially not the dancers, and the film might be a way to do so. I learned more than ever before in my life, especially I learned how much you can do without words and how much you can rely on the most simple language, the most common universal language we all know, the language of the body. And getting to know the, the work of Pina Bausch, I realized I was illiterate. I didn't speak that language. And Pina was, had such a fluid use of this language and she deciphered it so much more, with so many more levels than cinema ever did before. That was a great lesson. If Hollywood goes on producing what they do, 3D will be over soon because we're sick and tired of it. The first four years that we saw 3D is the way the studios produced it, and that has not led anywhere. It certainly hasn't led to make people believe this was a new language. Nothing much more than an effect. But it is so much more. It is truly a huge step for cinema, as big as from going from silent cinema to sound. It is a whole new medium, a whole new language. And we still have to discover it. And I think it'll take authors and documentary filmmakers and young filmmakers to show people what can be done with it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.